because I'm always trying to get the wind right and then cut the herd off and let them filter by me. So this morning, I heard some bulls bugling way down here and I could tell they were kind of moving up and the wind was blowing to the east. So I got way above them and actually I got on the, I got on the far east side of them and then I came back into them. And so basically they had the wind in their face and I was just off to the edge a little bit and I lucked out the whole herd came filtering right by me and had a pretty nice bull at 30 yards but didn't give me a shot. <laughs> thing about core workouts like this is it gets you warm when you're cold oh. that 
is always smart to do is just drop a pin on your location from where you shot from. Then if you're having a hard time finding your arrow or finding blood, you can always go back to where you shot from and replay your shot. But I'm pretty hopeful that I'm gonna go find this bowl and this patch of timber down here at the bottom and make a quick recovery. Unbelievable. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Just right behind the shoulder, tad low, but I think I got him right in the heart. Not sure how I got so lucky. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. 15 days of archery hunting, got it done. <laughs> Pretty stoked. <laughs> all right, now I'm ready for the big job of pulling all the meat off this guy. So when I'm solo, I find the best way to do it is to bring a tarp. And basically, I'm gonna pull the meat off of this guy, and then I'm gonna lay all the meat onto here. And three and a half hours later, I've got four quarters, back straps, tenderloins, all the neck meat, additional scrap meat, and as you can see, this all the meat totally takes up the entire um, 8x10 tarp. So this crown's all dirty and stuff too, so it's super helpful to keep the meat clean and make processing that much easier. Next up, I've got to debone the quarters, throw everything in game bags, hang it, take first load out. Late night. It's 1.30 in the morning, got the first load on my back. I don't got too far back to the truck, so continue the pack out tonight. Hopefully should be done tomorrow, midday. Either way, great times in elk country. <laughs> all right, I got all the meat out last night, and now I'm doing the final load out. It's all about right here. Tenderloins from the elk I got two days ago. Eating good.